Hello everyone and welcome to a very nice game uh, between Stockfish and Chess Master. It's a clash I wanted to, to do for quite some time now uh, to uh, put the old Chess Master from the NES uh, system, from the old Nintendo system from 1991 uh, against the most powerful Stockfish, Stockfish 14 powered by uh, Neural Network, powered by NNUE, which is backwards for a efficiently updatable neural network. Uh, if you guys are interested a bit more about why this is so and why Stockfish Stockfish integrated with this. I will put a link in the description below. If you guys uh, are, are interested, you can uh, read a little bit more about it. But basically, it's a, an extremely, extremely uh, strong, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, playing engine. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, well, uh, n no one can defeat it. It's just uh, incredibly strong. Sometimes Leela beats it. Sometimes uh, Stockfish and NUE beats Leela. But basically it is, uh, 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 for, for as long as it be it's been using neural networks, uh, it's become uh, like the, the strongest chess playing entity that we have today. Even stronger than Alpha Zero, I imagine, because uh, Alpha Zero has been out of commission for a very long time. Uh, if they powered it up again, who knows? Probably Alpha Zero because they have such such strong um, uh, computers would would become more powerful but for the moment uh, this is the, uh, uh, the uh, I, I think as strong as as it gets so how does it fare against the old chess master from 1991 uh, it was uh, the the chess master program was first published in uh, 1986 and it took some five years for it to make its way over to the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System so I imagine it was uh, more powerful than back in the days when it first was created for the Amiga or the Atari or the Apple II uh, or the uh, Commodore 64. Uh, so it, of course the NES system had more power and it is a bit faster but I still had to wait a very very long time for uh, the chess master to make a move. This is the uh, the one that I'm talking about. Let me just load it up real quickly. Uh, it really uh, does remind you of the uh, of the standard chess.com interface. This is the old chess master. Yeah, there you have it. So this is this is how it looked like uh, uh, on, on Nintendo uh, in 1991. Uh, as you can see, uh, the colors are very similar to the to the standard theme of, of chess.com. So if you guys uh, were wondering about that, but yeah, uh, Stockfish pretty much made the moves instantly. I was using it uh, through the Leeches uh, interface. It also had cloud analysis. So for the first few moves, um, uh, it had like depth 55, depth uh, 56. So incredible, incredible depth. And um, well, that that could be an issue for the old chess master. But I always, I, I, I mean, I had it as a kid. I just, um, uh, of course, I, I, I wasn't really good at chess. I'm not really good at chess now, but I'm better than I was when I was like six years old, uh, or rather, what was it in 1991? I was four, yeah. Uh, so, and I didn't have a Nintendo as soon as it came out, or the Chess Master probably had it like maybe 93, 94, or maybe even later. Uh, it's hard to say, but yeah, probably around when I was six. So, uh, of course, it uh, seemed unbeatable, and um, I mean, I, I didn't know anyone that could uh, come even close to uh, beating it at the top level. So, it could be quite a challenge for uh, for Stockfish, uh, or or maybe not. We'll, we'll see what happens. So, uh, let's dive uh, straight into it and see how uh, how it did. So, Stockfish opens with pawn to e4, and this is the move I made for Stockfish because for some reason Stockfish always wants to play at least this version of Stockfish always wants to go for the Reti and I didn't want to, uh, you know, uh, for, for it to be a Reti. So first move for Stockfish was played by me and then uh, the two of them are battling it out. So here uh, Chess Master replies with pawn to e5. Uh, okay, Stockfish goes knight to f3, and here we have knight to c6. We have bishop to b5, uh, the Rue Lopez is on the board, and a6. Chess master goes for the uh, for the Morphe's defense. And now, before we continue the game, uh, this is the same chess master that uh, you guys probably remember. You've had it, maybe you've had chess master 1, maybe chess master 2, maybe 5, maybe 7, maybe maybe 9, maybe chess master, the grandmaster's edition that I um, uh, often like to, to remember remind people about because you have uh, incredible incredible le lessons by the legendary Josh Waitskin there if you guys can uh, you know get your hands on that piece of uh, software the chess master grandmaster edition uh, it is one of the finer academies I have uh, ever seen uh, uh, specifically due to the uh, Josh Waitskin Academy so if you can get that I mean you will not be sorry uh, so but uh, yeah let's get back to the game we have bishop to a4 and now knight to f6 uh, just continuing with the Columbus very 
creation castles and the bishop to e7 and uh, also there is a there is an option in the chess master uh, the the old one from the nintendo entertainment system uh, do you want to turn on deep thinking and i was like what is deep thinking uh, on on chess master from 1991 and uh, then i read the manual and it's basically uh, do you want chess master to think about the position while it's your move and you could allow him this and you could uh, uh, pre prevent him from doing this so I allowed this uh, but it, it was pretty pointless as Stockfish was making moves uh, pretty much instantly so here rook to e1 and this is still the opening uh, we have b5 challenging the bishop bishop to b3 and now pawn to d6 we have c3 by stockfish uh, and now comes castles we have pawn to a4 and now uh, this is where the game gets really really interesting so here nowadays uh, uh, you, you can play b4 or you can play bishop to d7 or even bishop to g4 so it's very interesting that chess master chooses this option bishop to g4 we have h3 challenging the bishop and this is where chess master really does a, a weird move here basically what you want to do is bishop captures an f3 bishop to h5 or bishop to d7 but here uh chess master played uh, b captures on a4 and uh i don't know if it loses the game on the spot but it uh, makes black's position very 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 uh hard, hard to handle so uh, this was not played by anyone and it is not as of move 10 that we have a completely new game so here bishop captures on a4 attacks the knight and the bishop here and now just the bishop captures on f3 chess master grabs the knight on f3 queen captures on f3 still you have to do something about this knight and now knight to a5 not going for knight to b8 as that would be uh well just putting the knight back where it came from but now stockfish plays the all powerful move that i know you guys are looking at as that move pretty much always wins the game and that is pawn to b4 we have knight to c4 and now comes bishop to c6 attacking the rook so how do you defend here of course uh rook to b8 and now comes pawn to d3 challenging this knight and uh, here uh you, you don't really have a good reply with the knight you could go knight back to b6 for example knight b6 rook captures on a6 uh, but if you look at this position you can see that black's position is completely paralyzed this bishop here is such a good uh attacking piece i mean it just completely uh stifles the entire position uh, the, the rook just grabs the pawn also the rook can come to a7 it's um i mean it's it's just a beautiful beautiful position the knight can come over to, to a3 to c4 to b5 uh th there's really no good move for black uh to make here so it's a very interesting that uh, uh chess master instead of uh going for a passive position like this instead chooses to give up a piece rook to b6 is played now attacking the bishop but stockfish just moves it back bishop to a4 and now there is no way for you to save the knight as uh, all of your escape squares are covered there, there there's no way to save the knight so chess master goes ahead and starts attacking with d5 uh, Stockfish grabs the piece, D captures on C4, D captures on E4, and now Queen to E3. So Stockfish up a piece. Chess Master has some uh, some development in uh, Stockfish. Still uh, has to develop uh, most of the pieces. And if uh, Chess Master can get some sort of an attack going, maybe Knight H5, maybe the Knight comes to F4, maybe the Rook is shifted over to G6. Who knows what might happen? Uh, but here we have queen to a8 now putting another defender to the to the pawn here uh, and now pawn to c5 grabbing more space um, and making the dark square bishop useful and forcing the rook to move back rook b to b8 and now bishop back to c2 now uh, the knight is coming to d2 and then of course so stockfish is planning to capture on e4 and chess master is basically helpless against this plan we have rook f to d8 now comes knight to d2 and now uh uh, knight to d5 going after the queen here but it doesn't help still uh, here queen captures on e4 is played now threatening queen captures on h7 and here when i got to this position it took uh, quite a long time for for chess master to make the moves uh, some were incredibly long for some it took like 20 minutes but here chess master simply refused to make a move and uh, for good reason there's really no good move you can make you you have to move the knight back to stop checkmate then uh, the queen will move and the game continues but uh, there is nothing for for black to look forward to here black is just down a piece and stockfish will uh, very very easily win this so instead uh, knight captures on c3 was played uh, allowing checkmate in two but there is an option 
uh, in chess master there is a an option where you can force chess master to make a move and here i clicked that as it was taking a ridiculous amount of time for you know chess master to admit that he's just worse so i thought that he was just going to move the knight back or something but he actually played knight captures on c3 and stockfish delivered a nice checkmate here uh, queen captures on h7 king to f8 and queen to h8 with checkmate so it's a fairly quick game 24 moves uh, and this was chess master the old chess master on the highest level uh, but um, uh, like I said uh, on, on this occasion uh it, it just didn't go chess master's way already in the opening here after h3 was played uh it decided to go out of book so uh, neither of uh, uh, the moves were, were played that are actually good here for black but b captures on a4 that is sort of uh, playable but not really after uh after a few more sub suboptimal moves stockfish immediately gained uh, the, the winning advantage and it just completely crushed chess master uh, so yeah, I always wondered how this matchup would would turn out. Of course, it's not a it's not a fair matchup, but I uh, uh, always always uh, I kind of thought Chess Master was stronger than this, but uh, apparently not. Uh, as I, I've read in the manual that uh, they've rated it in the beginning, uh, they've rated it like it was rated two thousand, and then maybe maybe like maybe more than two thousand, but it it was very hard to make make a, an exact evaluation of, of, of the program. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other chess entities that you would like uh, me to, to test against each other, especially from from different uh, decades like like these two, uh, do um, uh, do share in the comments, and I will look into uh, in, into you know uh, ma making a brawl out of it. Uh, so yeah, uh, once again, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Kathleen Altia, Cashman, Robert Arathun, uh, Cold Feet, Reckless Pawn, and Ravishing Reptiles YouTube for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Uh, uh, continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions and whatever else happens in the chess world. So thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.